Drew's gonna shout at me, but at least one of you is gonna shout at me in the comments. I can already see it. Don't spend all your money, especially in a lawless place. I know, I know, okay? I understand. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day today so far. Uh, today's video, first of all, I wanted to say I think I've fixed the sound. I think I've fixed the sound. Let me know. This is a test video for sound. Um, because you guys know, if you've been watching from day one, I've been having a lot of issues with the sound. Uh, trying to fix it. I'm not a pro on sound. Um, <laughs> so I've been trying to learn. Uh, but today, or yesterday's video, someone commented saying that the audio is way off and i know i've been having issues with audio but he said that you know and this is something i already knew but you know you have to turn up the volume so you can hear me and then i start shouting it's way too loud and you have to turn it down he said he was waking up his kid sorry um and i get it i know that's been an issue um and i've, I've been slacking i've been slacking so i think today I have actually fixed it. So let me know. The sound of me talking right now should be exactly the same. And if I start shouting, it should be the same. So it shouldn't be that bad. Let me know if that's the case. I, but now I shouldn't have to be like headphone warning. It should be the same across the board even when I shout. But let me know. But anyway, guys, with that out of the way, let me know in the comments about that. Because I'm really trying to fix the audio for you guys. I also turned up the volume of the game in the background. So... This whole video, as far as audio, let me know in the comments because I, I, it, this is just, it's basically a test for the audio, okay? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, on to the good stuff. So, today's video, let's slow down for a walk, we got a little talk, okay? Walk and talk. Uh, today's video, so I asked you guys in the comment section of yesterday's video, uh, well, I asked you in yesterday's video, uh, maybe yesterday's video in general was about me trading in the Cutlass for Freelancer Max, or the Connie or something like that. And um, let's just say the comment section was very split. Uh, which I expected. People have their own opinions on things. And it went from people saying keep the Cutlass. To people saying get the Freelancer Max. To people saying wait uh, till the 23rd. Because on the 23rd there's going to be a sale. So it was, it was a lot of information. I'm a very indecisive person. If you know me, I am very, very, very... <laughs> I'm a very indecisive person, and um, yeah, it did, <laughs> I shouldn't ask questions that I know is going to be a split decision. It's just it just makes my brain hurt. But um, I think I've made a decision, and I'm going to explain myself real quick, and then we're going to go on with the video, and it's going to be fun, and you're going to enjoy it, and it's yeah, you better enjoy it. I'm just kidding. Uh, so let me get a little bit closer here, so we get a little bit of light on my face. I apologize, by the way, that this mask is like tinted. Or well, this, you know, this helmet. I didn't think it was when I bought it, but now it, it, it's clear as day that it's tilted, tinted a little bit. What are you going to do? Hey? Eh? Uh, so anyway, today's video, I was talking about trading in the Cutlass for the Freelancer and all of that. And then the one comment that I did actually really like was, or oh, there's a handful of you, said that there's a sale happening on the 23rd. So just wait, it's the anniversary, they have things on sale. And I was like, oh! That clearly makes the most sense. I'll do that. So I looked into it. I went on Twitter. I went on, well, not Twitter. I went on Reddit. And it looks like, from what I've read, that the sale, quote unquote, for Star Citizen isn't necessarily a sale like people think, like a clearance sale or like a discounted price. The sale on Star Citizen just means that things are going to be on sale. Like for sale. Not on sale. Things are going to be for sale. Which means. I can just buy things, do you know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, getting it at a discounted price. So, for example, and I'm not saying this is the case, but, for example, the Caterpillar right now is not available. You can't buy it. But, maybe on the 23rd, it'll be available, it'll be on sale for me to buy. I'm guessing that's what they're, they're thinking. So, and I was like, okay, well, if that's the case, what I can just do is I can purchase the Freelancer Max... And then if something does come out on the 23rd, I can just trade it again, right? There's no harm in doing that. You can, I, I, can, I can just do that. So I'll buy the Freelancer Max, and then I'll trade it if I decide that something else comes out. I'll give you a little bit of information, right? So my dream ship right now uh, that I would love to have 
is the the Hercules. I've been looking at that bad boy. I, I really want the Hercules. It looks cool. It's got tons of cargo space. It's a badass ship. But from what I've seen, that thing doesn't come out until mid next year. Mid to like June 2020. So we're not going to be getting that anytime soon. So I thought to myself, okay, uh, what else is out there? And there's a ship that's already out called the, the Starliner. Not the Starliner. The, it begins with S. Anyway, it's like a refueling ship, but it's also got a massive cargo space, and um, it's a large ship. But that thing is is not out at the moment either, just like the Cutlass. It's not out, but I think I'd rather the Cutlass. I don't, I mean, what? I, I don't know. But um, yeah, those are my dream ships, but I don't know. So what we're going to do this video is we are indeed going to buy the Freelancer Max, okay? It doesn't fly as well, but that's not what it's for. I want to let you guys know that off camera, like off when I'm not like recording, I, I really do enjoy trading. It's fun for me. I tried mining. I did not like mining at all. It was horrible and it took forever and it was just, no, I didn't like mining. Um, but I really enjoy trading. As boring as it is, I really do, as boring as it looks, I do enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do. So, and it, you make so much more money, let's be honest. Uh, but that's what I think I'm going to do, and I'm not going to melt down the Aurora. I'm probably going to end up upgrading the Aurora. Maybe I'll do that on the 23rd uh, to, like, some sort of just, like, a fighter or something. Just so I have something else that I can roam around in um, when I'm not doing trading and things like that. But the Cutlass, I will say, it is a great all-around ship. You know, I can defend myself in it. It's fast. It's nimble, so I can literally, like, fly around and move, and it's not like... It's, like, really quick. Um, and it's easy to fly, but I am, you can see, this is why I'm indecisive, you can see I'm already, like, trying to convince myself that I should stick with it. But we're not going to, we're not going to, otherwise, listen, we're never gonna, we're never gonna, like, record a video, we're never gonna, nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna be sitting here talking like this, rambling, for hours. I can get, I can convince myself, and then unconvince myself very quickly. So, anyway, this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Lyria right now. We're gonna pick up a shipment of, I don't know, and we're gonna do one last trip in the Cutlass Black. And then we're going to do, we're gonna purchase our new ship, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing in the new ship, and see what happens, okay? Alright, let's get the Cutlass. Last time, leaving PO to get the Cutlass. This is a sad time. A really sad time. Look at this beauty. I've loved you. It's a gorgeous ship. I don't like, I'll be on record. I don't like the look of the, um, I don't like the orange of the, the, the Freelancer Max. I don't know. I just think it looks stupid. All right, guys. So we are actually headed to Love, Lo we're going to Lyria, but it's called Lover, <laughs> Loverville or something like that. I'll show you guys now. We're going to trade. And um, I'm just trying to... Are you going to turn the engines on? Craft, thank you. You see I only have four missiles? I went to war yesterday in this thing. It was felt great. Here's the thing, though. This ship, yeah, it's great. But as soon as you start using missiles, people get pissed off at you in the, in the chat. People are like, oh, you're using missiles. Why don't you fight like a man and just use your regular guns? Meh, meh, meh. I'm like, dude, I got missiles. Why can't I use them? You're going to make me feel like I'm a shitty, like, fighter? Because I'm using what I have available to me? Get out of here. Anyway, guys. So this is where we're going. We are heading over to Lyria. And we're going to go... I swear it's called Lover. Lover Farm. Loveridge! There we bloody go. It's not Lover Farm. Loveridge. Anyway, we're going to head over there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're a beaut. I do love you. I do love your little VTOL thrusters, too. You're awesome. You're a great, great ship. Thank you. And I will miss you. But here's the thing. All right, let's get out of there. <laughs> we don't thank you. All right, it's a 44 million kilometer journey, I believe. All right. You know, I've never actually been up in this the whole time we've had it. What happens if I get in here right now? All right. I mean, this is the turrets. Yeah, she is. Ladies and gentlemen. Can we just get it just appreciation of the cutlass you've been here since I started the game almost just maybe a week after you've been fun you've made me hundreds of thousands of UEC 
You've been blown up. You've blown people up. You've been a great all-around ship. And I think you're a good-looking ship. You look like a Formula One car. You look like a Formula One race car, which I love. I think it's a great-looking ship. And I'm gonna miss you. I really am. We're gonna miss you. I have a question for you guys. Is there a button or a keybind or can I keybind uh, taking off my helmet? Like if I hit a key, it'll uh, take off my helmet. Because I, I feel like that's what I should do when I'm talking to you guys like this. Just take off my helmet. It'd just be easier, let's be honest. Also, I figured out there's a button um, for me to uh, figure out. I can recalibrate my face right on my key, on my numpad here. The star button. So we'll be doing that if it breaks. But as of right now, it actually looks pretty good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on our final descent to Lover Ridge Farms, is what I'm calling it. Last final descent with the... Uh, with the Cutlass! You know, the one thing I miss is this. You see how it's like... It's pretty nimble, you know? And if I, you know... It's just, it's been fun. It's been fun. How close am I to the ground? Pretty close! Alright, where is this place? I'm assuming it's where that guy is. Yep. Alright, let's just get over to him. He's a friendly. We're gonna be friends. We're gonna be BFFs with each other is what's gonna happen here. Alright, let's come on down. Come on down! <laughs> I don't think I've ever been here. So it's a, it's a first and a last, which is, which is nice. What ship are you in? Oh, look at you. You're in the little version of what I'm about to buy. No, oh, wait. I should probably put my landing gear down. Landing gear down. There we go. Launch complete. All right, let's landing turn off that light. All right. He was lagging it. He was running as fast as his little legs would carry him when he was running out of there. I don't know if he's scared of me, if he thinks I was going to steal his ship or something. He's still, I mean, if we're having a, if we're having a contest on who parks better, I'm going to have to go with him. He's off. So that's the little version. You're great, Cutlass. Don't worry. You're great. That's the little version of what I am going to be buying. So we're going to have the big boy version of that thing. Uh, that, weirdly, I don't know why you would even... I mean, I'm not going to beat them that guy. Wait, isn't this the leg of his ship? Tell me that these are... I'm pretty sure all of these are the legs of his ship. Correct me if I'm wrong. Weird. Um, I'm pretty sure that one only carries, like, 50 cargo units or something. I'm pretty sure that's not... I don't know. But anyway, guys, this is it. This is our final... I need to figure out how to take my bloody helmet off. But I'm not taking it off right now, because if I do, I know for a fact... I'll forget to put it on. This is that one place where... <laughs> Do you remember when I was trying to find this? Here it bloody is. Has he came and got everything? Surely not. Alright, so we're gonna... Let's get a little bit better view here. Uh, this is what we're here for. Can I fill up the whole thing? No. Well, this is gonna be annoying. I need to fill up the entire thing to make this well worth it. Okay. I'm pretty sure this thing only... Yeah, so he just got... Because I can... I should be able to get 5,000. So he must have just taken some. Um, so let's just go ahead and purchase it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this right now. I'll come back to you guys. we got to fill this thing up. You know what I mean? We're not going to be picking and choosing. We're filling this thing up with agrisium. Agrisium? That's what we're going to do. So I'll meet you guys back here when we're full. I just realized this is a lawless place, isn't it? I don't see the no gun thing. So I should be prepared. I should be prepared. <laughs> this is what's going to start getting crazy. Because I've never been attacked when I've done any of these. I've never been attacked. Um, but if I do get attacked, it's going to make me cry. But I'm ready. I'm ready for it. 
All right, guys, bada bing, bada boom, destination full. I think that is it. I don't know who's going to shout at me, but at least one of you is going to shout at me in the comments. I can already see it. Don't spend all your money, especially in a lawless place. I know. I know. Okay, I understand. Can I just give a shout out real quick? I don't know if you're watching this video right now, uh, but I just got a comment. And, you know, comments mean so much, obviously. But I just got a comment as I was waiting here from Mark Hinkle. And, uh, Mark, I just want to say thank you for that comment. It was on yesterday's video. Uh, comments like that mean so much. Um, I do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I record for typically about three hours. And then I edit for a couple hours. So each 30-minute video takes, I would say, about six hours to, uh, to put together. And I, I just really do appreciate it when people let like you notice. And it, uh, it means a lot. It really does mean a lot. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, guys. So we have a full... Cutlass Black on our very last mission. Also, uh, Mark, I apologize because even though your comment was super, super nice, um, I've basically not done anything you've said to do because uh, obviously we're going to end up with the, the Freelancer Max here today. <laughs> I do. I just didn't enjoy mining. Maybe mining, I'll have to, maybe I'll buy a mining ship because you know all that money I'm going to make from my Freelancer. Uh, <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, thank you. And thank you to all of you guys that leave comments. Like, I've been doing YouTube now for about three years. And, you know, I started off with Call of Duty, which I loved. I was one of the only people that liked Infinite Warfare. Absolutely loved that game. Wait a second. Ship? Ship? What the bloody hell is happening? I just put all my money into this thing. Don't... Hey, ship, can you come back to the ground? That would be amazing. Hey. Ship. You want to come back onto the ground level, please? If I can't get into my ship right now. We made it. Oh, God. We made it. Sorry, don't worry. Hey, I know what can go wrong will go wrong. And I know it's not a KJH video unless something goes wrong. But having, you know, 150,000... UEC worth of cargo go wrong is not what I'm kind of going for here. You know what I mean? All right, guys. But yeah, as far as like Infinite Warfare, I've been playing that game. Um, I absolutely loved it. And then I moved over. So I did a bunch of games. And then Fortnite. I did Fortnite for a while. And Fortnite, don't get me wrong. That was the biggest community I had. We gained thousands, thousands. We got millions of views in Fortnite. Um, it just wasn't for me. I got bored of it and I wanted something new. And then I came and I literally stumbled across this game. And it's been incredible. So I did, I do want to thank you guys. The community has been amazing. All of the comments from you guys are incredible. Um, I've never played a game where I get as many comments as I do from you guys in this game. Like it's just, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 you want to... You want to not do that? Uh, it's just been incredible. And I just want to thank you. I, You know... I'm not for everyone. I'm too loud for some people. I'm too, you know, over the top for others. I just try and make funny content. And I don't even... I mean, I like comedy and things. You know, I like to see the comedy and things. So, um, I appreciate the love and support on the channel. It's absolutely awesome. So, thank you, guys. Anyway, I will meet you um, when we're up in space, okay? But, yeah, guys, in all seriousness, just thank you... Um, for, for just the support on the channel, uh, watching Star Citizen, it's from the first day I posted Star Citizen, and uh, I loved it instantly. And I, people came out of nowhere. Like, I don't know how people found this channel, um, but it's a great community. And ever since then, I, I mean, everyone's been here showing up and watching the videos and I, I appreciate it, okay? I appreciate it a lot. Where's my face? All right. I appreciate it a lot, and um, yeah, I'm glad you like it. We've been every, I, I, I try and mess around with everything I can, uh, with the, the VoIP thing here, and uh, just, I don't know why it goes silent when I do this, but just, you know, I want to use everything that I can um, to the max, and if we have this available, we're going to use it, and I know not everyone agrees with my purple style. Okay, this is just who we are. And if you see me in game, it makes it easier. If you see a guy running around with purple with a helmet that kind of doesn't match the rest of his suit, you know it's me. So come say hi. We're going on an adventure. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, I'm going to meet you back at PO. We're going to sell all this stuff. And then we're going to say goodbye to the one, the only, 
colorless black. <laughs> Guys, my game hasn't crashed. My game hasn't crashed once in 3.7.1. Not once. Like, my game has never crashed. I just crashed with 120,000 UEC on board. I think I'm gonna cry myself to sleep right now. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I have a question for you. It says my ship is stored at Lyria. Can I literally go and find my ship, take my Aurora, to find that ship? Or oh, what? How, how does this work? Been a bloody while, Aurora. It's been a bloody while. We're on a mission, though, which I don't think... I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's not going to work. But come on. Come on. Oh, shit. The bed. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's stored at Lyria. This one, I just flew around. And obviously it's stored here. I didn't land it here, but I can retrieve it here. But if I go to Lyria, which I've done, which took 25 minutes in this thing to get there. Um, <laughs> it's not, it's not, like I can't, you can't claim a ship. I mean, you guys know you can't claim a ship on Lyria. Um, no, you can't retrieve a ship on Lyria. Track, I don't even know what the point is in this. It's not doing anything. So I don't know. I don't know where to get. I think we're screwed. I think I'm going to have to claim it. I'm pretty sure we're screwed. But I, I can't... Like, there's an OCD part of me that's like... I... That's, no. I have to get back to where I was. I was at 150,000 UEC. So, um... Yesterday, there was no video. Because, as of right now, when the video is supposed to be going up in about two hours... Um... But I can't. I need to... My OCD, I need to get back to 150. I need to do this again. <laughs> Even though we're gonna, I hope it doesn't crash again. It's just, this is what we have to do. So I will see you guys in a second. Let's see what we're at right now, and I'll tell you how long it's taken me. So we're at 32,000. All right, guys, let's do this. Hey, guys, quick update for you. Um, my VoIP's not working right now. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's been off all day or what, but quick update for you guys. Um, so it's currently midnight. It's 20 past midnight um <laughs> sorry there was no video yesterday right now is yesterday and it's <laughs> it's been a long day literally just accepting my last my last little delivery of the day that one there is a uh, bugged out one a scuffed one there's another one inside here this one's scuffed like the crazy thing is i would say out of each delivery that I do. So out of 10, so 30% of the deliveries I've been doing today, 30% have gone through, whereas the other, <laughs> the other 70% have failed. I've probably lost about 100,000 UEC in just deliveries that haven't worked. Like I've gone all the way there from say, um, let's say from Grim Hex to the orphanage or something like that. You know, it's a long, a long drive. And you get there and it's, you know, it's bugged. It doesn't work. And I hate these ones that are inside here. I much prefer the little red boxes. But it'll do. I think this is just 4,000 too. Don't ask me why. I was just at Daymar, but on the other side of Daymar. Is it just 4,000? I'm pretty sure it's just about 4,000. I was just on the other side of Daymar and it was beautiful over there. Sun was shining, the desert was beautiful. Anyway, this is just an update. The rest of the video is coming up in seconds for you, but obviously for me, I'm gonna go to bed and then I'll start back up tomorrow. But guys, can I just tell you? So you saw what happened. I lost like 130,000. Then I grinded, like I'm telling you, when I say I grinded, like, <laughs> guys, we grinded for, hours and hours and hours and then we um we ended up losing it wasn't too bad it was like thirty-five thousand. i did another trade for thirty-five thousand. i lost that as well 
Um, <laughs> you can tell by my energy, it's been a long day. Uh, but yeah, so we lost another 35,000, so that pushed us back down again. It was literally all day. One step forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. Like I say, it's half 12 right now. 12.20 a.m. And I've literally been going since about 1 p.m. <laughs> and I've lost so much. The thing is, the reason it's taken so long, today was just, it was a bug day. Today was a bug day. Um, I haven't had any issues in 3.7.1 since it came out, since I've been playing it. The last two weeks, I've uploaded a video every day for two weeks since I got back from New York. And I haven't had any issues. But today, for whatever reason, today, I mean, I got disconnected like three times, lost, I'd say about $170,000, 170000 AUEC. I'm on trades because of disconnect, and it's not my internet. Um, it always disconnects at the same point in the game. So it's, yeah, that was annoying. I lost a bunch, like I say, in deliveries, where I'd, you know, I'd haul them all the way to the location, and then the delivery would just disappear. That's happened a few times. I have had one good one where I had four things go into the orphanage, and each of them were like 7,500. So that was a nice fat, you know, 30 something thousand payday on the orphanage. So that wasn't bad. But uh, it's been rough. It's been a rough day. But we're never going to give up. Of course, we had to miss yesterday's video because of it. Because I just. It was. <laughs> that, that was a big. That was a big pain. I lost nearly all my money. I should have learned my mistake. Learned by my mistakes by now. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go to bed. The video is going to carry on in literally seconds for you. Um, and we'll go from there. But as of right now, I'm going to bed. It's been a long day. The Cutlass has been incredible today. Absolutely been in love with this thing today. There's currently four people. I'm not going to show you because I'm going to show you how much money we have tomorrow. Um, it's not a lot. It's not. Don't give me. Hey, I've had so Like I say, I lost 160 to 170,000 UEC today. On trades we have not made that back let me just say that but um, we've made some money you'll see in a second there's two people in this server with me right now just know it's me and one other person I was just a PO and there was nobody there like there was nothing there was no green little triangles no red triangles there was nobody there's two people in this entire server right now guys I thought I'd just come and show you real quick <laughs> I was gonna just log out of the game, but it's just so peaceful right now. Like I say, there's two people online. It's probably just me right now. But is this a common thing? This. Everything is just so peaceful. It's, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. And there's nobody here. <laughs> it's silent. There's literally not a single person. Also, it just blows my mind. It's just how often do you see this? What a weird day. What a weird day. All right, guys, we're gonna jump ahead now to the next day. Um, I'm sure you've gone through a bunch of emotions, a roller coaster of emotions in the last few minutes going from what I've lost to. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back in a second with the rest of the video. Good morning, guys! Ah, welcome back! My web... I don't... My camera's not working, okay? What the bloody hell's happening? There we go! <laughs> How are you guys all doing? Hopefully, you're having a good day, morning. Happy Friday. Um, sorry there was no video yesterday. I literally just finished, it feels like, recording what you just heard about me saying I'm going to bed. And now I'm awake. Um, I, you know, I had a good five, six hours sleep. But, what I will say is I woke up this morning... And I spent about an hour going back and forth in my head. I have terrible commitment issues and committing to buying a new ship has been like the death of me this morning. But I have made a decision. Decisions have been made. And ladies and gentlemen, I have indeed decided to buy a new ship. So we're going to go to it now and we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to use the ship. We're going to use the ship, ladies and gents. 
So I know some people want me to buy it. Some people don't want me to buy it. So uh, everyone has their own opinion, right? And the only one that's going to work is mine. So we should in here. Why do I have an anvil hornet? Come again? Why do I have a medium fighter? Can someone explain? Why? Why do we have two ships? I bought one ship. And there's two in there. I don't know why there's two ships. It didn't say buy one, get one free. And it definitely didn't say that I, you know, you get this ship if you buy this one. So I don't know why I have a Hornet in there. But if I, if I have a Hornet, I'm super, that makes, that's even better. Because I said I was going to upgrade my, uh, my, my, uh, my, 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 my. <laughs> This bloody ship, the Aurora. I said I was going to upgrade this to like a fighter, but now I have a fighter. Why do I have a fighter? Anyway, guys, I have a ship. I have another ship. I don't know where this other ship came from, but I'm happy it's there. But anyway, we got the Freelancer Max. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and get it. I spent... Oh, I know some of you are going to be talking in the comments like, oh, you could have retrieved that shipment of 100 BO2. Wherefore art thou BO2? Someone's gonna be like, oh, you could have retrieved that shipment, you could have just followed it. No, I literally, I think I went into like five different servers looking for this thing. And I looked for it in an Aurora. Which, by the way, I don't know how I started playing this game. Like, if you're new to this game, what did I say it was? BO what? I think I was two. If you're new to this game and you're flying around in your little Aurora, um, know that it's. It's terrible. Once you upgrade to a better ship, the Aurora is terrible. All right, ladies, it's just slow as picture. Like, it's just freaking slow, guys. I'm sorry. that I took 20 minutes real time. 20 minutes real time to get from PO to, like, Lyria. And I may be exaggerating a little bit, but it felt like it was 20 minutes. Like, it was ridiculous. I'll tell you how. No, I'm not. I'm not going to tell you how long it is. Because I was going to open up my internet thing and have a look. But no, it was long. Anyway, this is the new ship, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new ship. I it, This is VTOL, right? Surely. When I took it for a test drive, this thing didn't do anything. But it looks like it's on. it should be a VTOL. So this is our new ship. It is the Freelancer Max. It's a, it's a much bigger ship. Um, and it's just a beast. As I've been... So yesterday, I was... Like, I grinded, guys. Oh, how much money do I have? That was the whole thing, right? Uh, I'm gonna have a do. We're at 184,000. So, guys, yesterday, from when I lost 100, I think it was like 135, 140,000 UEC. And all I had was 159. So, I lost everything. Um, so, to get back up and some, it took all day. The gate, I literally, I got up to like 90,000 again. I was almost there. And then I did another trade and I lost 35,000. I was even trading smaller. And I lost 35,000 again. And then I started doing deliveries. Oh, well, I told you, I think, already anyway. But we're at 185,000, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm not going to trade this thing full until I have at least 300,000. So this weekend, I'm going to be grinding because you know I want to trade this thing full. But it's not worth the risk. And the thing is, I love trading because of the risk involved but when the risk involved is pirates and stuff that's cool but like when the risk is actually the game disconnecting or crashing that's not fun you <laughs> know that's not fun at all anyway this is the ship it's bigger like i say as i was grinding yesterday trying to get up to where i'm at right now i um i came across a lot of freelancers none of them with the max i don't know why it's ugly why does it have to be orange in the pictures it's all blue but it's orange. But maybe it'll grow on me. I don't know. But this is our new puppy. This is our new baby. Um, it's got some really powerful weapons on it. It's it's kind of a beast. I actually looked at the Mantis. That thing over there. And God, that thing is... First of all, it has no cargo. It's not a cargo ship. We know that. It pulls people out of Quantum Drive. But that thing is slow. The Cutlass Black... This guy can't even get in his own ship. The Cutlass Black took... Nine and a half minutes to get from PO to Art Corp. That thing takes 15 minutes. You ain't no one's quantum driving in that thing. No one. All right, so this is our new baby. So let's go ahead and take a little look, shall we? I can't wait to start trading in it. I am very excited. Can I 
closed. There we go. Just making sure all the tricks work, ladies and gentlemen. All the tricks work. It's a little dark in here. The lights aren't on. Because obviously it's not turned on. But this is the baby. This is my new baby. We're going to be able to trade a lot more in here. Much bigger cargo space. I saw a video, actually, that when you have a lot of cargo space, it actually fills this place up, too. So maybe that'll happen. We have another staircase here, which takes you down. Um, and this one's great for me, because a lot of you guys always give me a hard time for forgetting to close the door. This is an automatic one. When you get in and out, it automatically closes, which is perfect. Uh, we got four beds, so if any crew wants to come along, we got four beds for your faces. And then we got four seats up here. So, it's a much bigger ship. So what we're going to do right now, guys, is we're going to do one trade. I'm only going to trade, I think, like 30,000. We're going to go, I'll show you. Actually, it's getting the ship first, so I can actually set it up. Uh, we're going to do one trade in this ship for today. Just to christen it, you know what I mean? Alright, let's see what this bad boy looks like. It's so much better looking. Than the green of the Drake. The only thing I don't like about it is I love the Drake, how all of the screens were like here, like visible. These ones, you have to like look down to see them, which is very annoying. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep the shields and everything up on the screen right here. But I, I don't like the fact that, you know, I can't do my comms, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's fine. It's just, it's, it's, you know, adapt. We've got to adapt. Anyway, so let's see where we're going, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go, I think it's Lyria and it's Sir... Is our corp Lyria? Yeah, sure is. It's Sir L5, I believe. Or S5. It's not Shuburunu. It is... What is that one? I wish she, I wish the game would fix this so I could see what I'm looking at. Um, I think it's this place right here. So that's where we're headed, ladies and gents. That is where we're headed. Alright, it's got a little bit more fuel... Than the Cutlass had. The Cutlass had 22, I believe. 2200 fuel. This is 25. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited! I'm so excited. Alright, guys. We're going to test this out. My new baby. Why does it look so dark in here? Uh, probably because I'm so used to that annoying, obnoxious green. Alright, let's take off. Why does it do that? Hold on a second. Whoa! It did that yesterday. Why does it go, why does it just shoot facing upwards? It did that when I was test driving it in yesterday's video, can I just say. Um, it did the exact same thing. Alright, so this is the, the, the new baby. Let's put those uh, legs in real quick. So this is it. It's big, it's bulky, and I don't know why when I went up, it didn't go up. It just decided it was going to face upwards. Uh, let's see, the VTOL, I don't think this ship has it. It looks like it does. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have VTOL, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but these are pretty big, I guess, to be VTOL. But it, ha it looks like they do. I think some of them do. Maybe some of the freelancers have it. And this one doesn't because it's too big. I don't know, honestly. I don't have a clue. Alright, so we are off on our adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't see... My marker got, I'll tell you what, yesterday was a pain in the butt. Trying to navigate without having a marker. God, that was annoying. All right, we've got to get used to this thing being a little bit heavier. Yeah, trying to navigate yesterday, the servers were so bad. I told you there was four people, no, two people at the end of the day in that server. Um, it was ridiculous. But anyway, let's go. This is the same speed as the Cutlass. We are probably going to upgrade. Um... But yeah, it's been, the server's been really annoying recently as far as trying to see where you're going, trying to put markers on things. Um, I noticed that when I was trying, you'll probably see today, hopefully it's better today, but when I was trying to mark like a location on a, on a planet, there was nothing showing up, but it was actually there, it was invisible. So you had to literally just hold, hover over where you think the marker was and then it would start spooling. It was weird. It was invisible. But hey, you you know, playing for 12 hours yesterday, you pick a few things up. All right. So this is our baby. I like it. I like it. All right. So let's have a quick little look around the ship, shall we? I mean, now the lights are on, you can see it a little bit better. But it's bigger. It's much, much bigger. Um, considering we started off with our Aurora, I mean, this thing, it's big. People say... That the cutlass is bigger, the storage, and you can store like a um, 
like a, a buggy in it. But I swear this thing's bigger and wider. I don't know. Maybe because it goes, it's wider, the cutlass. But I think this is wider. I don't know. But anyway, I'm excited, guys. I really am excited. I still don't know how to take my helmet off. I thought that maybe there was some sort of key bind. And I looked and I there, there was no key bind. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, I, I, I'll guess I'll figure it out eventually when you guys comment how to, how to, how to take your helmet off. But until then, you've got this tinted thing. And I know it's a different color. The person who actually told me um, where this helmet was said it was going to be a different color because it's a different brand. But did I listen? Nah. Do I look good? Sure do. I'll tell you what. Just the quantum travel is much better today. I can tell you that much. Yesterday, like I say, all day yesterday, I was having issues with it just not showing up. The map wasn't working. And the markers. But today, so far so good. Knock on wood. I mean, we've got all the way here almost without it, uh, any issues. I love the blue. The blue just looks so much better than the green. And it wasn't even the fact that I didn't like the green. Like, it was just lime green and it was bright as anything. You couldn't see anything. Like, that green in the chat right there is better than the lime green that the Drake had. Like, my God! That thing, oh, never mind. You guys get it. Look at this beauty. It is beautiful. I mean, it's really not. It's really ugly. It looks like a turtle. <laughs> it's neck like sticking out of the shell. But it's cool. It'll grow on me. It's big. It's a boss ship, okay? It sucks that you can't see the whole ship when you look at the back of it because it is so big. Now, when I do that, I can. But all I've done is speed up, which is probably making me going to want to crash here. Yeah, let's slow down. Let's slow down. We're getting a little low. We're getting a little low. Come on, slow down. How low are we? We're not too bad. Why does it look like there's thrusters are coming out of the... That's just weird. The one thing is I can't see. I literally can't see. Can you guys see that? I know we're close, but it's, I can't see the, like the distance. I think that's six, five, four. God, that hurts my, I can't see it. I know it's at 4,000, but that is difficult. All right, let's bring the landing gear down. Coming in a lot slower than usual, but you know what? It's our first ever trip in this ship, okay? We're, we're being good. Now it says my altitude is negative, so that's always good. I literally, okay, I can see it now. It'll take me a while to get used to this ship, but we'll get there, we'll get there. All right, let's slow this thing down. All right, let's try and pilot this thing like a champ. You know what? Not bad. I think we may have overshot there. Just need to... No, we haven't. See, I just need to get used to my ship. That's all. All right, let's put it down. Easy as she goes. Thank you. See? See how jolly that person was that said landed successful? Super happy. Col the color wasn't happy. Landing successful. This one's like, landing successful. <laughs> you know what? We're going to go out the door. That's what we're going to do. Exit ship. That way, no one's going to steal... No one's going to steal my ship. Automatic door, ladies and gentlemen. If I didn't need something more, I don't... <laughs> I mean, come on. If I can have one thing that just helps me out, I need it. Let's be honest. That is one thing that I'm sure a lot of people that watch these videos are going to be happy about. That I have an automatic door. I mean, it, the ship's going to grow on me. It's kind of... Look, we were meant to be here. It's the same color scheme. All right, let's remember where this thing is. I remember the first time I came here, it took me like 20 minutes to find this thing. It was just hidden back. You don't ask, don't ask, don't ask. What up, Ted? All right, guys, we are here. Let me just turn chat off right there. Don't need to hear about whatever they're talking about. For our very first delivery in the freelance... Why does it say 120? Everywhere online, including... 
Their own website says it's 122. I've been gypped two skews, ladies and gentlemen. I've been gypped two of them. Where's my, where's my 122? Hey? 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 All right. We're here for titanium. Do we do it for our first run? I literally, the beginning of this, the whole video has been me trying. The reason there wasn't a video yesterday is because I lost so much money. And I'm feeling good. Down, 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 down. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We're doing it again. What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, guess what? We're insane. We've already learned this, ladies and gentlemen. I bet all my money. You know what? It would be fun if I just did everything by the book and I was careful. And meh, meh, meh. It would be boring, all right? I want to have fun. I want to enjoy the risk. You guys, I'm sure, find it way more entertaining when I'm doing stupid things like betting all my money. And that's what I'm here to do, just to entertain, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what we're going to do. Look, I don't even need to go in the back of the ship. I'm literally, I don't even need to. But I'm going to because I want to look and see what it looks like. How much did I just spend? It was 88 grand, okay? We filled it up. We have to. It's our first, first trip with this thing. We have to fill it up. Wait, that way. That's where my eyes should be looking. <laughs> it's empty! Nah, there's that glitch going on where... It's empty when it's full, and it's full when it's empty. So as soon as we sell it, this thing is going to be full. See, I told you they store things in here. All right, good to know. All right, guys. <laughs> Please don't crash on me today. Please don't disconnect. Don't do anything stupid, okay? Don't do anything stupid. All right, we're headed to P.O. Bada bing. Bada boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope. I don't know why the ship feels like it's going. It. I think it's because the back's heavy. Is that what it is? The back's so heavy that when you take off, the top lifts up and the back stays low. That's what I'm going with. I'm most likely 100% wrong, but that's what we're going with. All right. I'm trying to find my little triangle. There we go. Oh, oh I'm going to get used to this. Wait. Don't worry about me. All right. Do I have to leave the atmosphere? You know what? Let's just leave. Look at us go in our new ship. Leaving the atmosphere. And look at that. We have such a good view of me. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wait. Let's put that up. That help, maybe. Look at me. We look great. We look great. All right. I think I'm out of the atmosphere. I'm pretty sure I can now... Turn that off. And where's my little marker gone? Down here. Alright. Jeez, don't hurt me. Jeez, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I feel like this is faster at spooling. I could be wrong. Hold on. I feel like we need to slow down a bit first. Your boy's not... We're not coming into... We're not coming into PO full speed ahead and crashing into a planet. Not today. Ladies and gentlemen, our very first trip. Oop, wrong button. Our very first trip in the Freelancer Max. Forgot the name of it there for a second, but don't judge. I just bought it. It's a cool ship to chill in. Like to just hang out in here. It's got great views. You can see all around. It's great. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate the look of it now. It's growing on me. I've only had it five minutes, but it's growing on me. All right, let's see how far we've got. We've got quite a ways to go. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. So, I'll see you guys, hopefully, at Port Olasar. And not crying because it says disconnected. All right, guys, we're here. But I'm not going to get excited yet. I'm not going to get too excited, I should say, yet. Because I crashed here yesterday. The game, remember I was telling you I lost the 130 and then later on I lost like 35. This is where I lost the 35. Alright. I was right here looking at PO and the game crashed. Please don't do it again. Oh, I got disconnected. And it's not my internet. It, it, it's not my internet, okay? It's not my internet. Alright, PO, where you at? See, look at that. I had it unlocked. I don't even know if that's PO, but I'm assuming it is. It's not telling me it is, but I'm going for it. I mean, we have 88,000 on board. Our new ship. Please don't fail me now! 
It's a hop, skip, and a jump. We're right, we should be right there. Could you imagine if this isn't PO? This is PO, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's pull down the landing gear. I'm still not holding my breath. Oh, it's actually not the same one. It's the one on the left. Usually it's the one where that green guy is. Alright, first time landing my own ship at PO, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little heavier, so bear with me. Oh, there's a cutlass black next to it just to give me a, gr a, a greeting. It's meant to be, ladies and gentlemen. It's meant to be. Alright, let's put it down. Hopefully this is a good land. I don't know. Are we successfully down? Thank you, I'll have a pleasant stay. Alright, guys. This could be it. I'm not going out the back door, because to be completely honest with you, I've no idea how big this ship is, and it could be hanging over the edge. Alright, let's have a little look. How did we do for our first time landing? You know, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. First time landing our brand new ship. Can't see me, it's too dark. There goes the cutlass. I think I need to re-key bind my things, because just... They haven't been working. I think that was pretty decent. I mean, we're literally right within where it needs to be. Look at that. First time landing this big ass ship and we nailed it. If I do say so myself, ladies and gentlemen, we nailed it. Look at it. Let's have a little look. Wait there. Can I do this? Look at it. Me and my new ship. Hold on. Did I get a thumbnail? I don't even know if I made a thumbnail. You know what? Let's go and sell this stuff first. That would probably be the smart idea. Sitting here trying to get a thumbnail. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The 15-hour video has almost come to an end. It's taken that long to make. For you guys, not so much, but there it is. Okay, so why do I have... Could someone tell me why I have a hornet all of a sudden? I mean, I'm grateful, but where the bloody hell did it come from? Oh, I hit the wrong one. I was like, hold the front door. All right, sell all. Look at that. Sell all. Sure do. That's what we're doing. 106,000. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we're going to be making that bank right now. We just put 80 grand in and we got 106 back. Look at that. We've crossed the $200,000 check mark. Oh, it feels good to be a gangster. Okay, that was cringe. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm happy. I am. I'm happy. I'm really happy. I don't know what our thumbnail should be, so I'm just gonna leave the video here. I do like to make the thumbnail with you guys watching because I feel like that makes it more, you know, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Immersive, I guess? I don't know, but at least that way, you can't say it's clickbait when the thumbnail is literally taken from the video you're watching, you know what I mean? On the way to the thumbnail, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you when we get there. God knows where we are, but this is where, <laughs> this is where we're doing the thumbnail. What the hell? What are you getting in bed for? No, don't get in bed! Oh, for God's sakes. What a bloody... <laughs> Come on! What a freaking adventure it is just to get in and out of bed. Jeez Louise. All right, we get it! You've got a bed! All right, guys! This is where we came for our thumbnail. Um, I don't know why, but it's where I decided to do it, okay? Uh, so this is... <laughs> I just wanted to go to Daymar because I'm like, oh, it's got nice sandy looking, like, I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in, I'll make the sky look nice and blue, it'll look great, guys, don't you worry about it, it'll look fantastic. Oh, I need to turn the engines off. Bloody thing, look at it. Making dust all over the place. That's better. Even though it says Freelancer Max in the middle of it, you'll get the point. And I'll make the sky blue, you know what I mean? Because we're good like that. That could be clickbait a little bit, but... <laughs> Um, how should we do this? We want it to be a good picture. It's kind of Star Wars-y, is it not? This way a bit more. See, this is just the, the life of uh, <laughs> trying to get a thumbnail. I mean, that looks pretty sick, does it not? I feel like it needs to be on the other side. All right, I think that's the thumbnail, ladies and gents. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. Why does it look like I'm a lead singer at a kiss or something? Like I've got tears coming out of my eyes. Oh, it's just the... <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how long this video is. All I know is it took like 12 hours to make. Um, and it didn't even... I mean, technically, I just had... I couldn't lose that much money and carry on. I just had to get back to where I was just to feel better about myself. And now we're at like 200,000. So I'm feeling goddamn great, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to know when I upload daily Star Citizen videos. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.